Hello, my name is Ted. I am a squid. I'm going to be playing a, chili, a chibi, chibi robo. I, I always have to make sure that I, I say chibi robo instead of cubivore. I think I, I've had several videos where I just accidentally say cubivore. Oh, hello, Mr. Squid. Um, so I'm, I'm a little bit stressed out. Uh, a couple things happening at once here. Um, I, I'm getting an interview from OIST the Okinawa Institute of Science and Technology. I, I'm going to have to explain my project proposal to them if I want to uh, get an internship or a PhD there. My gosh. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm anxious about that. But also, I went on a nice long run. It's something that you're supposed to do when, you, when you're stressed out. And I dropped my phone, and my phone broke. It, it didn't... It, it broke in such a way that it keeps... <laughs> the alarms keep going off, and you can't turn them off. You can snooze them. You can snooze them, but then it's five minutes later, it just starts screaming again. So every five minutes or so, my phone is going to beep, and I'm going to have to just say, excuse me for a moment, and I'm going to change, stop the, stop the phone. Okay, and, and another thing that's really been stressing me out, oh my gosh, you know, squids, we have our own problems. Humans, I'm sure you've, I, I'm sure you folks have, have problems. Giraffes? You, they don't they don't talk a whole lot about giraffe on giraffe crime you know giraffe on giraffe violence the, these giraffes they're not just menaces to us giraffes are menaces to each other look at those two giraffes they 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 can't get along with each other and if you if giraffes can't get along if, like if a giraffe and a giraffe can't get along no one has no one has a chance with giraffes Okay, let's let's play let's play Chibi, Chibi Robo. You know, get my get my mind off these giraffes. Ugh. We, we've been at this house for a couple days, and we're already in the top ten thousand Chibi Robos. What a game. Okay. I I don't think I want to talk about anything on my list. I wanna I wanna talk about Chibi Robo. Let's talk to the frog girl. Okay, so I, I can talk about stuff that's on the list as long as it has to do with the game. I wanted to to talk about what this game is on about. I, I enjoyed doing that with a uh, uh, cheap. Oh, there, there's my phone telling me that my alarm went off. So I, I wanted to talk about what this game means, <laughs> because I mean it, it's art. It, it's a it's a it's a cool game where you're a little robot and you you clean a house, but also it's art. Well, we've got humans, and humans are obviously supposed to move around and, and speak. <laughs> you know, hum humans are humans. They're they're going to do that. Um, and robots are, they're not biological, they're not alive, quote unquote, but he was specifically made as to behave as if he was alive. He's got eyes, and he runs around with a, with a toothbrush. Oh, so these guys are out in the daytime. You're not allowed to do that. What's, what's up? Heck yes! Oh yeah. <laughs> So, um, and then we also have the, the toys that are alive, and I believe we have aliens in this game. Find the spy. Man, I got, I, I cannot talk at all, I just have to watch the eggs. Okay, th this one, this one was relatively easy. But why are you guys doing this in the daytime? You're not allowed to do this in the day. The daytime is the, the human time. And these are, uh, eggs. These are toy eggs, which are supposed to be in the nighttime. Why are they allowed to, to blur the line? Okay, I, I gotta stop talking, I gotta look at the eggs. <laughs> Alright, Frisco. Maybe I should put my phone on the screen, my, my cursor on the screen so I can say, I think that's, that's the one. I seem to remember. Was he always on the far left? Was that is that the the easy part of the game? Number three. Let's let's watch the eggs. Okay, Detroit is the spy. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep my my mouse on him. There he is. There he goes. Oh, he's trying. Oh, oh boy. Oh. Oh dear. I think I lost him. But I also think that they're still on the far left. 
Dang. I'll, I'll, I'll do better next time. Be better next time, better next time. You know, I'll, I'll impress these eggs. I need to impress the eggs. So these folks are apparently allowed out in the daytime. What does that say about them? Why why are these particular toys... I suppose they're, they're still... There aren't any humans in the room, so I guess it's okay that they're out. But I, I guess uh, I wanted to talk about Mary Douglas and Purity and Danger again. I, I like that book. And uh, thinking about the strange relationships presented between uh, humans and robots and toys and eventually animals and eventually aliens. Aliens, for example, like, what the heck is this guy? You're a cheating lion demon crab! Okay, well, you've got, you've got humans, you've got frog girl, who sort of blurs the line between humans and animals. So humans, frog girl, animals. Uh, and then toys. Are they below animals? Because they're allowed to move, but only when no one's looking. Uh, and then inanimate objects, which you're supposed to toss into the trash. Um, and then, so where do, where do robots fit in? <laughs> where do they fit in compared to the cheating lion demon crab? Cheating, how rude. You fail because your soul has not been properly cleansed. I know you decide whether your eye opens or closes, you filthy bilge rat. So this guy opens or closes one eye, and you have to bet on what he's gonna do. Me soul's as clean as the waters of Shanty Pete's blessed harbor. Hello, Mr. Squid. There we go. I'm mostly skipping through these conversations now. Why are you still gambling? Why are you giving him your money? Get on with it, you scallywag. Steal the money that I just gave you. So this guy has two hands. He's also got two feet. But he's also got two more feet. Like, are these... These are extra feet, right? And then two more feet, and then... It's a strange game. I like strange games. Okay. When I talk about the spiritual or the uh, religious meaning behind Chibi Robo, I think I might skip this guy. Because I don't understand him, because I've got a, an evil soul <laughs> instead of a justice soul. <laughs> Last time it was your port side beeper, and the time before that it was starboard. You shall open the eye, says I. You're with me, ain't you? Dude, don't make me take a side on this. I think she. I think the the demon crab, <laughs> the demon crab is just gonna do whatever I say to do. I'm, I'm gonna say no. I'm not on this guy's side. Curses! It's what I get for trusting an undersized boat hook. I'm I'm a very tiny robot. Is he comparing me to Giga Robo? That's not very nice. Me pirate's word is as good as me gold. Where did this toy learn about pirates? Is he allowed to understand that pirates weren't necessarily trustworthy? All right, let's see it. Oh, he opened his left eye because it's on our right. It opened. Gar har har har. Yar, it opened. I tell ye. He's he's been drinking too much. But it's your left eye. Oh, how unfortunate. Don't play dumb, you miserable lifeboat leech. You're nothing but a liar and a thief! I don't know if calling him a thief in this particular situation is accurate, because you literally described how little you trusted him and how much you didn't trust his gambling, and then you chose to gamble with him. Okay, <laughs> alright. Great Cheeto is more like it! But you're playing their game! Okay. I'll have you clapped! You've got problems. Okay, so these these toys are allowed to be alive in the basement because humans rarely come to the basement. I can understand that. So why can't Giga Robo stand up? I mean, Giga Robo doesn't have any power, but why does he need power? Uh, why why can't he walk around as a toy? Huh? Huh? Here we go, Chibi Blaster. I don't remember what is in this direction, but we're going to find out together, aren't we? Oh. Oh, come on. No! The game is hard. 
For real? Okay, come on. Oh. Is this a... Is this... Like, the fourth JoJo, I think? Yeah. Nice hair. Come on. Give it to me. Okay, there we go. So I'm, I'm, I am good at the game. Okay, so actually, let me, let me get my charging. So why don't, why don't the toys need charging? I mean, obviously, toys, they don't need charging anyway because they're not alive. You know, toys aren't alive, but these toys are alive. Are, are they powered by imagination? Why can't robots be powered by imagination? How come robots need, uh, need battery? Okay, but also, see this thingy? This is an inanimate object. I can't, I can't even hold any more of them. It's inanimate, but it's also not animated. You know, it's not, it's not walking around. It's not pretending to be a pirate. So who knows? I mean, you know, the, the game is, the game is going somewhere. I'm liking, I'm liking the weird differences between life forms, non-life forms, and intermediary life forms, or whatever. What is this? Is this another tool for me to use? Gunpowder. <laughs> well, maybe it's another tool for me to use. Okay. I'm, I'm very, uh, uh, Inspector Gadget. I like it. Man, Giga Robo. I mean, Giga Robo had to clean this place and he didn't have a helicopter pad. Can I get there? Oh. Well, you know, it is what it is. Let me run over and chart back up. Oh, so I, I've started using the green screen again. So, I mean, there's a there's a green screen back there, but it's, uh, it's purple. One of the reasons, um, the green screen wasn't necessarily working very well before was that my, uh, my webcam was doing white correction, which means that it was, it was looking at the, the whole image and saying, okay, it, it looks like this is the lightest part and this is the darkest part, let's, uh, let's correct it and regularize it a bit. And so occasionally the whole screen would just sort of flash and uh, everything would change. Oh, here, I, I just gotta go up a little a little farther. Okay. And so now I've, uh, I've, I, I've stopped the white correction and uh, I think it looks pretty good. Look at that. Like you can see my, my fingers and you can see me go a little bit into the, uh, the picture that's above me. I'm having fun. It's a, it's a fun time. So what am I doing here? Oh, I'm trying to get into the, the birdhouse, I believe. I don't necessarily... <gasps> the game is hard. It's a hard game. Oh, so I, I tried uh, speedrunning uh, Cubivore again. I think one of the reasons it's difficult for me is because I am a perfectionist. <laughs> so if I'm, if I'm speedrunning and like three hours in, something happens that would cost me a lot of time, I, I just stop. <laughs> but, uh... Oh, I was really worried there. I, I think I'm okay. Oh, oh, okay. So I have to I have to clean the bird poop. What are you doing, Chibi? It's a dangerous game he be playing. Yar, yeah, let's be this. You're searching for Giga Robo's Giga Charger. Okay, so he he knows the deal. I, I even I didn't know what I was looking for. I'm gonna ignore the bird poop. I don't. I don't want to clean bird poop right now. I wanna. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Okay. It's hard. It's a hard game. Okay. I don't like looking at Giga Robo's body down there. Like his corpse. It's. It's just not. It's not fun to look at. So I, actually, this is a good point. Um. The the toys. We can occasionally see them during the day. Like we see the. Uh, uh, the dog toy being played with by the dog, and the toy isn't alive. It's daytime, the dog is there, the human is there, the the toy can't uh, be alive. Are, are we basically seeing Giga Robo in that moment? Because Giga Robo doesn't have any power, so and and that's what it means for Giga Robo to have power. There are a lot of a lot of different places to look around here. This is why did the family install all these places? No wonder the family is having moolah problems. Why Why do they have all this stuff? Oh, it's another frog ring! Oh, once we get ten frog rings, I remember, Jenny takes off her, her frog helmet. She puts it right back on, but she takes it off. That's another another 
good reason to talk about uh, this game's notion of humanity or whatever. Um, its notion of a living thing, because obviously Jenny is alive and she is a frog. Don't don't get me wrong. Um, and then in a, taking off her helmet, she becomes more human for a moment. And then she goes back to being a frog. But, um, I, I think the book... Uh, the book... This is not a book, it's a game. Uh, I think the game is, is trying to say something about the relationship between uh, sentient beings and non-sentient beings. Oh, I don't need to go up here anymore. I, I brought down this rope so that I can climb. Hello, demon crab. How does the demon crab set all this up? Is is he a toy? I'm not sure what he is. <laughs> He's, he, he looks a bit like a, a like a teapot. Oh, okay. It's a hard game. You got to be very careful playing this hard, hard game. Okay, so I can't get over these nails. Why aren't the nails alive? Are the nails allowed to be alive? Do, do, the, do the nails need to be charged? <gasps> oh my gosh. I feel like I'm walking on a tightrope, even though I am not on a tightrope. <laughs> oh, there's the, the Giga Charger. Oh. I don't need to get any happiness by doing you know, the family's work around here. I can just uh, do the story mode for their their love. Man, this thing is bigger than me. But it fits inside me. Don't ask. <laughs> maybe maybe that's part of the uh, the weird theme of the, the game. I don't know. Do you truly mean to set Giga Robo to sail in once more? Okay, so, you know, there, there's, there's humans, there's toys, there's animals, there's robots. And robots are apparently on the same level as, um... Uh, uh, pirate ships. Okay, yeah, he's he's got to go sailing. Yeah, let's let's get Chibi. Let's get Giga Robo going. Ah, Chibi! Don't use the outlets in the house when you fill her up. Okay, yeah, because you know we we've got moolah problems around here. So much power, the poor Andersons will go bankrupt. A queer sort of treasure chest. Okay, so we gotta get his leg. Yeah, he's he's missing a leg. We gotta find his leg. We can do that. Is that something I can pick up? Can I pick this up? Yes. Can I pick this up? No. This game is strange. <laughs> okay, I, I still haven't uh, figured out how I'm actually supposed to throw things away. I, I can go to the uh, garbage, but I can't throw things in the garbage. It's a hard game. It's a hard, hard game for a uh, for little squid like me. Alright. I think the first time you, you go to that demon rat, uh, he'll, he'll let you win. Because I think the demon rat makes money by making the pirate angry. What a poor guy. Alright, and now we gotta, gotta leave. Oh, this part. Oh, this part is so boring. Oh. Gotta leave. Oh. How's, how's your day? Oh, we're gonna get a coin. Oh, we got a coin. Is the husband still sleeping on the couch? Oh, this poor family. Oh, I, I can give uh, Jenny her frog ring. Let's, let's give Jenny her frog ring. Jenny! Jenny! Get up, get up! I don't know how I do that either. You know, you, you can fit things inside of you. You can teleport things above you. Obviously. Oh, where are all these happy points coming from? So is this is this like a, a Toy Story where maybe I'm 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 running on love? Like I I obviously need power, but I also need love. Oh, what a game. Okay, here, uh, sir. Tell me if there's anything else I need to do around here. Can you throw stuff away from me? You have so many... Space Hunter Drake Redcrest is on soon! I can't wait! Woo! How did this person get married? Aren't you the neat freak, Chibi Robo? I won't be using that toothbrush again, but if, if you're using it to clean, I'm fine with it. Do you have another toothbrush, sir? 
I, I got happy points for taking his toothbrush. He paid me. He paid me to take his toothbrush. Why? What's going on here? Excuse me, ma'am. Your husband just paid me for stealing his toothbrush. Okay, first of all, I'm going to do this because it's part of the game. You don't want to go outside. Why are we allowed... Why is Telly recommending this? He's my manager. You, you know, if the lady comes in here and says, Oh, Chibo, why did you... Why did you break our... <laughs> break our door? But breaking windows won't ha make Mr. Sanderson happy at all. Okay, so I guess... Well, I'm going to do it anyway. You, you shouldn't have said anything, Telly. You don't know how games work. As soon as you say something like this, I, I just do it. It's playing the, the triumphant music. Yipes! Didn't do it. Wasn't me. Don't deactivate me. You... Okay, Telly. Wow, okay. Well, let's, let's, go, let's go see what's outside. I, I believe there are animals outside. And I want to see how animals fit into the life structure of this Chibi-Robo universe. Okay, if they didn't mean for me to go outside... What's this? <laughs> what is it? Oh, they, they only have silver in here? No gold. No gold for your Chibi-Robo? <laughs> Alright, so we've, we've got some flowers. We've got... Oh! It's a... it's a frog! Okay, so there are animals, and, and you do communicate with the animals. Ribbit, ribbit. Eesh! She's all dehydrated and shriveled! It hasn't rained lately, and it looks like she's really weak. Oh well. This is so distressing. We have to get her some water. Okay, so I guess robots robots are allowed to value human life, or, or not human life, but I'll bet I can get up here. Um, I think I'm going to run out of power, but that's okay. Telly will save me. It, it, we're almost done with the day, so we can just leave. <laughs> now, as soon as, as soon as the day ends, we'll magically teleport away. That's just how it works. Oh, but now, now we have a frog ring. I want to give it to uh, uh, Jenny. Ow. Oh, so this is the kitchen, I believe, and there's the doghouse, and we're not allowed in the kitchen right now, because we're probably in trouble for breaking down their door again. They need outlets out here, come on. What's this, uh, what's this thingy? It looks like it's moving a bit. Uh-oh, I'm dying, oh. It's just a, oh, why, why is this flashing for me? It's just a... It's just a plant. Okay, so where, where do plants fit in? Where do plants fit on the animal, uh, robot, human, toy spectrum here? I got, I got so many happy points because I, I found that, uh, uh, frog ring. Did that put me above 1,000 chibi robos? Almost. Oh? Take out that Giga Charger? Oh, I forgot. How did that fit in me? It's already bigger than you are, Chibi Robo. Yes, it is. I can finally recharge the Giga Battery. Alright, so what do I what do I do with this guy? Oh? I think you can probably charge it if you're willing to shell out the moolah. Let's charge it. Let's let's charge it a bit. We, we need 10,000 units. 10,000 units in there. Oh, you, you can only do 1,000 uh, units of 1,000. I was, I was about to say, oh, I'll, I'll give it one, one watt. I'll, I'll give it one moolah. More, Chibi-Robo, more! Oh, that's the spy doors. The spy doors are coming. Hmm, it's just Mr. Redcrest stomping around. W will he protect me from the spy doors? Oh, jeez, what's that? Oh, that's Telly. Okay. Look up. There's something evil looking up. A little investigating. Look up! Look up, Chibi-Robo! Yep, that's oil, alright. Look up! 
Chibi Robo, oh, come on. Ch come on, Chibi Robo, come on, Telly. You're not a very good manager. Yeah! There it is. It's Spy Doors. Evil Spy Doors. They're like the giraffes of the, of the Chibi Robo world. Did I leave the oven on? I have a bad manager. Okay, so these are these are the thingies you need to get more chibi chibi uh, helpers, I guess, robo helpers maybe. Uh, which I suppose means that in order for a chibi robo to be a good chibi robo, they need to have spy doors in their ecosystem. Where, yeah, where where do spy doors fit into this ecosystem here? Is that what I think it is? It's scrap. I, Utilibot. I was thinking Helper Robo. Yeah. Spy doors are good for something after all. They're good for recycling. Tee hee hee. Was this game made by people who'd read uh, Mary Douglas's Purity and Danger? Because I don't know. I'm 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 really getting that impression. You know, spy doors. Spiders are evil, but actually they're okay. You, you, you need the spiders. You need spiders in your ecosystem. Your, your ecosystem needs to have dirty things in it. Because you can break them into pieces and then, you know, <laughs> make utila robots out of them. Uh, but I think that's a, a good amount of, of play for me for now. Uh, so, uh, next Friday, uh, 6 p.m. PST, uh, twitch.tv slash space thingy. Let's, uh, let's do it. I'm, I'm enjoying this game. I don't know if I like it as much. Ooh, my hand. Something interesting is happening to my hand. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I'm, I'm enjoying this game, but I'm also, I've also been enjoying speedrunning cu uh, Cubivore, even though I'm not terribly good at it. So eventually I'll speedrun Cubivore, and then I'll upload whatever video I get out of that. All right, I'll see you then. Bye-bye. <laughs> By the way, I've got a Patreon at patreon.com slash thinkster. I want to thank all these squidlings and elder squids. Thanks.